Hello you guys, welcome back to a new vlog. I'm starting this vlog at a very bizarre time for me. It is 7 23 on Saturday. So I was not vlogging today, um, but we did just hang out with our friends for the day. And while they were here, um, my friend and I ran out and while the guys were here, they assembled this really cute shoe cabinet. And I was just about to set it up because everyone just left and I'm like dying to set it up. And I was like, I should probably vlog this cause like I love how it looks and it just makes sense to show you guys. So introing the vlog so we can set up. Look how cute this is. If you guys need like a small, tight, narrow area shoe organizer. Okay, so here is our intro in the mudroom. It is absolutely a hot mess hot mess so we had put these command hooks up here and they accumulate so much um we have hooks already built in here the bench we have a little um this is so <laughs> so messy this is real life um we have those little wicker wooden rattan woven whatever the word is um bins under each section and then we have ones up there as well so we decided to get this still got to take the little stickers off because they just assembled it got this on amazon it is the perfect width here it's actually even more narrow than this section pops out and guys look you can take these separators out if you have like boots or bigger shoes but you can fit shoes on both sides and it's so cute it's got like rattan woven here brass detail they have different colors too and it's just so so cute i am excited too because we never come in our front door we always come in here through the garage so i'm going to put like a little bowl for our keys and for um you know like wallets and stuff um and just set this up really cute and organize all this so much better and i'm just so excited to have something here to organize our shoes better so when we walk in this door you know we have this here so this is about to get a massive makeover mudroom makeover let's do it keeping our daily shoes in here so much better and then shoes we don't use often you know in our upstairs closets or somewhere that's not so easily accessible all right i just threw my hair up in a clip to get it out of my face yar is in the garage here breaking up boxes if you can hear it so we're gonna take down all this a lot of this can be put away like up in my closet or office it just kind of you know gets accumulated because that's life i was contemplating leaving one of these for like hanging up maybe hats or something but i don't know i feel like it might just look cluttered and then this rug on the floor i'm gonna move in this direction since now it's more of this space here oh should i take these down i guess i don't have to decide it right now but i have this little bowl on like a table over there that just it doesn't make sense to put our keys over there it's not near the door so i'm gonna move our little key bowl over here take this sticker off this is the actual hardest sticker ever oh good there's more <laughs> so i have some old decor i'm just gonna grab from the basement to decorate this of course we know i've got faux greenery up the wazoo but i feel like i should just focus on decorating later <laughs> actually let's put the shoes in first but i really need to decide like what are our everyday shoes a few minutes later and then the dividers like i said they come out i think the dividers are better for like petite shoes kid shoes but like these thick sneakers we might need to take the dividers out but they are super easy to take out for size reference his size 12s fit perfectly so if you got bigger feet than that then you might need to put them in the other way but even with the dividers out i can fit mine easily and do layers i wear my uggs a lot so i'm gonna do the uggs first oh wait actually can mine fit with the stacker okay so i'm gonna put my hokas 
in the bottom. So I can fit two pairs of my hokas on each one. I'm just gonna make this my little sneaker one. Oh my gosh, that's pretty impressive. The Uggs take up a little more space, so I think I might put the Uggs specifically in the baskets here. I think it would make more sense for space. And then, you know, you got your little spray. Uggs are exclusively going in that basket. Good morning. <laughs> okay, so last night I started like going through the old decor and I actually don't have a lot of old decor. <laughs> Everything's pretty much being used, which is great. Like I went down to the basement, all I have is like this wood bowl and I already have a bowl for the keys. And then I have like this black wooden like link of, like links, wooden links, <laughs> you know what I mean? Um, I just woke up by the way, so this is where we're at but um, nothing is working on that space because it's such a narrow situation. So I am gonna have to run out and grab some decor pieces for it. But overall, I'm feeling very excited, very hopeful. And also the rug, I think I, think I need a bigger rug now that I'm putting it the other way. So I'm kind of, what are you doing? Are you smelling the chair where our friends were yesterday? Yeah, so anyway, I was kind of like scouring the basement last night and seeing if we had anything I could decorate it with. Didn't have anything. So I think I'm gonna run to the store, see if I can find anything that would work. I don't need a lot because it's a small space, but I kind of want to like lean a picture against it, you know? I think that would look really cute. I can't really do a mirror there because it's against, like the wall has the, I don't even know what that is called. What is that called? This is all the decor I have. <laughs> and I took it from other spaces. I'm gonna put it back. Um, and then the rug, since I used to have it this way coming in the door, I'm gonna grab, I think a three by five instead. I think it would look a lot better here. And I'm contemplating also switching and getting more of those for up here. Cause I don't like how these kinds get slouchy. I just think, don't think they look like as crisp. So let me see how the wooden one would look up here. Would it fit? Oh, that's so much better, yeah. I think I got those at Target. I'm gonna see if they have more. Cause like, I don't know, I'm really just not, like these just don't hold their shape and it's bothering me. So I'll check on the app and see, but putting like excess winter stuff or umbrellas or hats in there is a great way to kind of make it look cleaner. So. Hoping to get this all done by the end of today. So we just went to do a Target pickup. They come out with the cart and Yarvin just looks at me horrified. Well, I, I thought it was like two items. Every time and we it do ends it. ends up being like 12. Yeah, but we're gonna finish the mudroom. I'm very excited. We went and had lunch with his grandma and then we went to Target. I have been fighting the urge to get this little bow wreath and it's gonna look so cute. Right here, this is it. Do you need to go outside? You go potty? Come on. Okay, so they did not have the same baskets as the bottom ones, but they had like a very similar version, but darker. So one will be light, one will be a dark woven, but I think that's still cute because I bought those like when we first moved in here a couple years ago. So we've almost lived here two years. Ooh, that's weird. So I got three of these bins to replace the slouchy ones. I also was working on my office earlier and I have like no decor there. I did end up grabbing this bowl because I've walked by this bowl a few times and I just love how it looks. Okay, and then I got these two, these ones are for the mudroom. These two really beautiful textured ones. Um, so there's a small one too. It's not small, but one is like short. Wait, are they the same? 
No, they gave me the right ones. Okay. One is big, one is small. Err. And then this cute little decorative object. You can put stuff in here, which is great if you want to hide, you know, keys or anything. What? You're fine. And then for a little faux flower moment, these are both baby's breath, same as the wreath. So we've got a little matchy match for spring. This is so cute. And then I thought this would be cute on the entryway table too, this cute little clock. Babe, look how cute this is. I feel like you'll like this. This is from uh, Magnolia. Oh, that's nice. It's cute, right? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. And you can see the time when you come in or leave. Yeah, for sure. And then I felt like there needed to be some art leaning against it. So I grabbed this like moody one. Thought it was good for it. I got a three by five rug for over there because the one we have now is too small. And then just some rug grippy tape. Lastly, I just got some stems for the other table because that vase um, is empty. So I just got two of these for that. So let me put those in first, see how those look, and then we'll work on the mudroom. Okay, so our entryway table here, like this has been just, first I had some old faux hydrangeas. They looked so silly because they were like short. It needed something with more height. So two of those stems were perfect for it. Um, I'll link everything from Target, of course, but you only need two. They have a lot of good height and like a lot of little stems to it. So I'm going to take the tags off and play around, but uh, I love how that looks. So let's work on the mudroom. Okay, you guys, I love, love, love how the mudroom came out. Yara does too. I hope you guys love it. Hopefully we can keep it 
tidy. And we decided to keep our like daily coats right here. So they're kind of hidden away a little bit. And I'm gonna put one little hook here just for like my daily purse. I just wanna try to keep it like as minimal in here as possible, but you know, we'll do the best we can. But overall, I just love it. And like the baskets up here, oh, so much more clean than those slouchy ones. So I'm gonna bring this up to my office and I ended up ordering a couple random things on Amazon that are coming tomorrow. So we'll kind of do my office decor tomorrow. Um, yeah, I'm excited. So actually I'll probably just show you guys this in the office when everything comes tomorrow. My mom and I are going to visit my grandparents tomorrow. My grandma had eye surgery for cataracts a couple days ago, um, but she's doing good all is well. Um, it went well, so she's just recovering. So we're gonna go visit them tomorrow because it's my mom's day off. Um, but yeah, thanks for doing the mudroom with me. I love it so much. It feels like a real extension of like the living room now. It's kind of a hot mess in here from today. Um, and when I took the command hooks off the wall, I did it right, the right way and it still took the paint off. <laughs> so we had to paint over it, but uh, yeah, overall really good. So then tomorrow we'll work on the office and it's just gonna be a big vlog of home <laughs> decoration projects. So I will see you guys tomorrow. Good morning, you guys. It is the next day. Look at this sweatshirt. It says Girl Math University. Um, this brand called Sweeties, S-W-E-E-T-E-E-S, -E 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 sent me some of their um, sweatshirts and they're so cute. One of them says, I won't stop for gas, but I'll stop for iced coffee. <laughs> so cute. But I just got ready for the day. It is 10.09 and I'm heading out to see my grandma today. Um, I'm still waking up, so don't don't mind me. But um, yeah, we're gonna go hang out with the doggos and hopefully everything will come in to finish the office decor today. Six and a half hours later. Okay, you guys, I'm so sorry. I'm back from my grandma's house and I did not get a chance to vlog very much actually at all there because I hadn't seen my grandma in a while and we just wanted to have nice little family time but the dogs did play in the snow and it was very cute so i'm still waiting on a couple things to come in to finish my office so i think i'll do that in the next vlog but i need to edit this <laughs> so i'm here to end the vlog thank you guys for watching the mudroom makeover and lots more fun vlogs soon sorry this is ending so abruptly but i'm like i need to edit this and <laughs> we don't have everything we need yet for the office so I love you guys, and of course, I'll see you in a few days. Bye.